There are a few other controls we have to talk about. I can't see unless I pull the steering column, the control column back out of the way. There's a gauge called flaps. Can you see that one? It indicates whether or not I'm using flaps and their position. Flaps widen our wings or make the wings uh, shape more, um, more efficient or more powerful for lifting. If I lower the flaps one click or two clicks, I'm pressing a button to lower the flaps or raise the flaps and you can see this gauge moving in and out. From outside the aircraft, you can see what that looks like when I'm lowering flaps. Flaps down. You can see it's as if the wing is getting wider or fatter because this extensing, this extending panel is being pushed outside the wing as I lower the flaps or being pulled back inside the wing as I raise the flaps notch by notch. American aircraft in World War II typically had several flap settings. Other aircraft, perhaps of somewhat more primitive design, might have only one flap setting all the way out or all the way in. They're really important because when the flap is down, the airplane is more stable when flying slowly. Of course, with the flap down, the aircraft is not as clean in its configuration, and you don't want them down all the time to, for maximum. If you're going to go maximum speed, it'll slow the airplane down, but it also makes it climb a little better and makes it behave better when flying slowly. If you need to fly slowly, such as when you're landing, you want your flaps down so that your aircraft can stay in better and better control. Um, here you can see flaps all the way down. Look at that instrument right there. And I can raise and lower the flaps. In a modern aircraft like this one, uh, modern World War, World War II aircraft like this one, the, the flaps are electrically or hydraulically operated, so it's like power flaps.